guys welcome back to my channel my name is Veronica thank you so much for clicking the link to watch today's video without further ado let's get started I'm coming to you with another military video. I'm on a roll. I really like filming these videos because um, I consider military videos to be one of the most fun videos. However, I do want to make a disclaimer as all of my videos are. Um, no one is telling me to say this, but I'm going to put it out there. These are my thoughts and my opinions. They don't reflect that of the DOD, the Air Force, any other branch. They're, it is my personal opinion, my personal experiences. Um, and so I am going to be making, um, I am going to be talking today about the topic of becoming an officer and why you should too and why you should push for it. Um, again, uh, just like my last videos where I talked about officer versus enlisted, some people were being a negative Nancy's and I, you know, you don't feed the trolls, but there's trolls. And I think people forget that I come from an enlisted background, not me per se, but my parents are both enlisted. Um, my dad's retired chief security forces. My mother did, um, uh, she did a one, I think she did one tour. I think, I believe she was a comptroller. Um, so I'm not sure why people are like, well, you're saying this and you're talking down on enlisted. I would never. Okay. You clearly don't watch my channel and you clearly don't watch my videos. So exit. <laughs> so here's why you should, here's why I'm an officer and some of the things that maybe you should look for within yourself so you can become an officer too. The first minimum requirement. I'm laughing. I shouldn't be laughing, but I'm laughing. You need a bachelor's degree, okay? In some cases, you need a master's degree. This is going to be heavily, heavily, heavily recruiter degree program specific. When I say that, I'm just gonna sum up really quickly is if you come, if you message me, cause I get a ton of message, Veronica, I have a degree in dance and I wanna do nursing and I wanna be an officer and you're not going to become an officer at least in dance i mean in nursing okay you're going to have to probably go general your degree has to be needs of the air force first so how it works is you go on um, airforce.com you look in the section they have all the different types of officers so that should be your first step you need to look and see what your degree kind of correlates to or what you want to do then what you do is you submit the form, a recruiter will get back to you momentarily, probably even longer with everything going on, and they kind of match up what you have to what is required. They may tell you, hey, you need to take two more classes in this, or hey, we, you can go in general and we'll kind of assign you a job. But when you become an officer, you literally apply to the program that you're going to be in. You don't just take a general test and say, ooh, hope something sticks. Um, you can do that and that is an option, but most of the time, people who come in as officers go in using their degree or knowing what they want to go in. Number two, you're a natural born leader. Okay, sometimes leadership, I mean, there's a big controversy. We discussed this in school. Is it learned behavior? Is it natural born behavior? I think it's a combination of both, but I think you have to have something naturally. You're a natural leader. You like to kind of take charge, work independently, do some things. This doesn't mean you like to boss people around, okay? There's a, a huge difference, okay? If you're like, oh, I just want to boss people around, then you can go be a manager at a department store. Um, this is more, you like to work in team effort. You, you know, you have, some days you're going to have to sacrifice where you're going to work late, and that's everybody. Again, this is not putting a certain branch down or putting a certain rank down. This is what I know and what I've seen, and this is my personal opinion. So if you don't like it, just but give a thumbs up. <laughs> so yeah, you're a natural born leader. If you hear my kids screaming in the background, I apologize. The third thing that I think um, really plainly states that you want to become an officer is that I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you want to become an officer. You have done your research. You've watched maybe my videos, other people's videos. You've talked to friends and family, or you know people and you realize the officer path is more for me. 
I love it. I love what I do. Um, and I would like to explore that within the Air Force and take it to another level in challenges. Um, so that's the third obvious one. That's probably the hardest thing people have to decide. And I will tell you that my dad actually pushed me so hard for officer. He's like, you're gonna do officer, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, it's just easier to go enlisted. Cause literally they're like, yeah, you can get a date like next week. So I know how it is to like hate waiting and hate the questioning and like, oh, I gotta take this test and now I gotta take this test and then I gotta study for the AF OQT and then I gotta do this or I gotta do the GRE again. <laughs> I know that pain because I lived it. Just wait. If I can tell you anything, anything worth having is worth waiting and fighting for. If you know you want to go officer, if you wake up and you're just thinking about it and you're like, yes, 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 then go that. I have plenty of friends um, from high school who are actually, almost all of them are enlisted and they love it. Like they're living their best lives right now. And that's great and they're like Veronica I do not ever want to be an officer like I love what I do I love that I'm enlisted I kind of like these ranks I kind of like you know do, doing certain things get my hands dirty being able to control a lot more and so they're like I like being where I'm at and I I'm not interested and so that's why I think everyone has this mindset like if you're not an officer oh it's horrible uh no there is there's actually in my opinion more stuff for the enlisted than there is officers it's almost like the officers are kind of like uh go you have your own mentors your own mentorship newsflash we don't um and the enlisted have so much i feel like there's so much community and pride and just i think maybe because of they build that into you in bmt but there's just like this core of them where they're just like the heartbeat, literally. And we're kind of like the arms and legs, like, ah. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right depiction, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so don't ever think that, oh, if I choose one, one, one is worse than the other. I would say, I would say generally, it's based upon your job, your AFSC Air Force Specialty Code, which is your job and kind of how long you're going in for and all those there's different levels of factor the next tip i think i'm on four or five i'm not sure but the next thing that i want you to know if you want to go officer is that you know you have to be flexible everyone has to be flexible no matter your rank grade whatever you gotta be flexible you're gonna expect you know to be leading hospitals but you're gonna go in they're gonna tell you no you gotta do all these other duties you gotta do a lot of work okay the military is a lot of work certain air force specialty codes are a lot of work i think most of them are i haven't heard one job where it's like Ugh, i hate gnats i haven't heard one job where it's like oh it's not really that bad there's not a lot of work like i've never heard that number six is i would i this is a little bit controversial too but i always believe in following your own heart and not really listening to, oh, this is how we used to do it. Um, how we used to do it was great. That's how we got here. The Air Force just had a birthday, happy birthday. But there's nothing wrong with being innovative, following your own ideas, trying new things, um, not just doing it just to do it. Yeah, sometimes you go, most of the time you go in and you're like, you know, you observe or you keep doing it. But if you have a better way, speak up, um, share that. Put that into action put that into practice it may take a lot of paperwork or other work that you didn't quite want to do but you know you always want to leave something better than you came so um, in my opinion i feel like you should follow your heart you should do what you're passionate about and you should always make sure that you are um not just doing things because someone tells you to as in like, oh, this person said this would be good for me, even though I don't wanna do this next job, I'm just gonna do it. Now, that isn't the case all the time, because <laughs> I'm kind of a testament of that, where I was like, and eh, I'm not sure if I'm really feeling what you're trying to, you want me to apply to, and then now I'm here in school and it's amazing. But I'm talking about when they're like, well, this is how my commander told me to do it, and my commander's commander, and my commander's commander's commander, so I'm gonna tell you to do it, and I want you to do the same thing no like follow your own path i had this lt i think he was yeah he was um actually enlisted he was a tech and he had just made lt 
um, he was becoming an MSC and he's like, hey, they told me they would, like, I should go to this base because I'll get more um, leadership and I should just go and blah, blah, blah. But I really feel like God is calling me or something is drawing to me to go to this other base, which is rare. They never give you options, but he had got a phone call and they're like, hey, we were in a dilemma. Which one do you want to pick? And so I was like, I don't believe in that. I believe you should follow and do what you want to do. And if God especially is calling you or something's drawing to you to go to that place, go. Don't ever let someone else's, I guess, advice sometimes decide your own career. Like at the end of the day, it's your own career. So if you make a mistake and you go somewhere where you didn't want to go, you're still going to, it's not like it's going to be at least at our rank, the kiss of death or anything like that. We're so junior, this is the time to explore, do whatever you wanna do. And I'm gonna try to follow that mantra all the way until the wheels fall off because um, life's too short um, and I wanna do things that I wanna do. And so if they're, you know, timing may be off, I may have to apply a couple of times, but I'm gonna try and do what I wanna do <laughs> because that's how you get the enjoyment out of your career. Now are there things that you have to do that you don't want to do absolutely there's plenty of things like paperwork and filling out and OPRs EPRs decks that I'm like oh my gosh I don't want to do this but I know I gotta do it and it makes me a better leader hey I believe we're on six or seven I don't know we got off on the numbers um the next tip that I have for you guys is are you have you asked yourself am I willing to mentor look after people do I have a nurturing character do I want to grow others? And if the answer is yes, there's a good chance you should be an officer or at least try. Um, now again, this doesn't mean that there's not mentors in Enlisted. There, there are some of the best, if not the best, mentors within the Enlisted ranks because they've seen it, they've done it, they mentor up, which means they mentor officers or higher ranking people and they just know how to do it. My Some of the best people I've ever met have been Enlisted and I learn everything from them a lot. So if you feel like you have a passion for mentorship and you wanna lead and combine all that, you like flexibility, you like leading, taking charge, kind of having commanders directly tell you what to do like a manager and you going down and delegating and do all that, then you make a great officer candidate. Again, um, my list is not the end all be all. There's plenty of multifactorial things of being an officer, but I just think that ultimately what it really comes down to, like I already mentioned earlier, do you want to be an officer? And yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you want to be an officer? If you want to be an officer and you have put in the work, you've researched, you're, you've been thinking about it for a year now because you've been sitting on your butt, not submitting your stuff, or your recruiter hasn't called you back, um, <laughs> go after it. Why not? Like what's stopping you, you know? And if things don't work out, the worst that can happen is it just doesn't work out. And then what do you do? You either enlist or you move on. You enlist and then you come back later. I've known four people who've done that. They try to apply to be officer, whatever timing, family issues didn't work out. And all four of them are now OE officers, officers who are per enlisted, making that officer enlisted pay too. Um, and it's not all about the money, but it's nice. <laughs> for me, ultimately, the reason for becoming an officer was one, um, my dad pushed it so hard and I was like, what is he talking about? I had no idea about ranks or anything because I really didn't pay attention. Um, and then once I started doing my research, I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. And then number two, I always was dead set on it. Once I decided, okay, I'm going to do this, I was dead set. I didn't want anyone talking to me about it or trying to discourage me. I even had people say, well, um, we can get you an enlisted faster, recruiters especially. Like, no, I know what I'm doing and I'll wait. And a year and a half later it took, because um, I submitted everything, scroll got messed up, all that stuff. Um, and then now I'm an officer. I never gave up and you shouldn't either. So go officer or go home or message me if you have any questions. Hopefully this video helped you and kind of gave you the push you need. Um, and it wasn't all over the place, but I really like to just kind of be real to you guys. I don't want to sit out here and be like, these are the top 10 things. No, I'm being real with you. And these are just some of the characteristics and things that I've noticed within myself. And if you notice them too, then go ahead and pursue that dream. 
All right, that's all I have for today's video. Bye.